Hi, I'm Glenn Slade, founder and CEO of Bigsys, and I'm here in a strawberry field in Kent to give you the next update in our spotted wing Drosophila SWD sterile insect technique trial. It's been about 10 weeks since the last video update, and that's long enough for SWD to have three generations of offspring. And since each female can lay up to 300 eggs in her lifetime, it's theoretically possible for the population to increase a millionfold. In practice, it does increase hundredfold or hundreds uh, of times over that period. Um, and we're not out the woods yet. There's another several weeks of SWD flourishing um, in summer conditions. Despite the cool summer here in the UK, it's being a difficult year for growers um, in terms of controlling SWD. Now, one of the tools that's used against it is netting. Um, and you can see hanging at the end of this tunnel uh, partially closing the cut tunnel, um, some fine netting. It's got to be very small, uh, roughly a millimetre square holes to stop SWD getting in. It can be effective. Um, the reason why it's up, and it tends to be used from time to time rather than continuously, is because it changes the microclimate. It makes it too humid in the tunnels and that in turn can allow fungus um, to develop more easily. Now, we, of course, are using our sterile male insects, um, which we release to mate with the wild females so that they have no offspring. And that's our way of preventatively controlling the population. Um, now, let me show you a graphic of how things have evolved over the last 10 weeks. Um, now, in this graphic, you can see a large area, which is the treated field, where I'm standing right now, and two smaller areas, which are our um, untreated plots, but with um, sampling of SWD at the same density to try and get a comparable um, uh, result in terms of number of SWD. So as this time sequence plays forwards, um, what you can see is that the colors go from blue and green, which means low infestations, through the yellows and oranges to red, which is high infestations and these plots are on the same scale so you can see that this is you know a little bit uneven and it moves around a bit in terms of the development but at this time there's a very clear uh, improvement visible in this field compared to those controls now big disclaimer this has not been subjected to the sort of statistical analysis um, which can quantify um, what suppression may have been achieved but Looking at that, it's obviously um, you'd rather be in this field if you're a grower um, than one of those uh, sites that's not received SIT. But we're not at all complacent. As I say, there's another several weeks of the season to go. Um, just behind me in the shrubs around, shrubland around this field, blackberries are in fruit. They're extremely attractive to SWD, calling them from further afield. Um, and so we're going to be, you know, continuing our regular releases of male SWD and doing our best to keep this um, plot, this uh, strawberry field, um, under control in terms of SWD right until the end of the growing season. Um, and sterile insect technique really does work as a preventative tool, not a remedy once it's too late and there's a high infestation. What we're trying to do with our SWD, sterile males, is outnumber the wild males so that females are more likely to mate with a sterile male than a wild one. Um, so if we were to turn up in an untreated field now and start releasing our sterile males, because they've multiplied by 100, let's say, in, in those untreated fields, we would actually be outnumbered by the wild males. It wouldn't make a dent. So. Prevention is key, that's why we've been here since before SWD were detectable in the field and we'll be continuing our releases right till the end of the season. So here we go with this week's release and don't forget if you found this video interesting please do share it with your colleagues and friends. That's it for now and I'll give you another update later in the season. Bye for now.